we don't have many matchups left. Um, not sure how many we have left, but so you don't ever want to take, you know, take it for granted when you're out there with, with such a, a great player, one of the, you know the best to ever played this game. So you know, it's always a, it's always a treat and um, it's fun. All right. So last night was the first meeting between those legends since Christmas Day. 2018. While LeBron's teams have fared better in the regular season matchups, Durant won two of their three meetings in the NBA Finals with both wins coming with the Warriors. Stephen, I tell me this. How important has the LeBron and KD rivalry been to the NBA? You know what? Believe it or not, I don't think it's been that important. Um, they're both phenomenal. They're both great. Um, when KD went to Golden State, some people thought the deck was stacked. And it's like it would have been great, let's say, for example, KP, if KD had never left Oklahoma City and Oklahoma City was in the fight. It's like Bird Magic, for example. In other words, Boston, L.A., and they kept encountering one another. That wasn't the luxury that we had. They faced one another twice. Um, LeBron was in Cleveland, um, and then he was in Miami. Uh, then, you know, KD was in Oklahoma City. They finally met up. I think the thing that made it significant to some degree was that when KD went to Golden State, that was his way of saying, I, I, and I always hold on to this moment. He makes the first basket, the first finals they played against one another, and then he clapped his hands and he was guarding LeBron. He was like, let's go. In other words, it was like, you know, from just this, this ambiance, this mentality, I'm here now, I got my own crew. You know what, you had Dwayne Wade mm -hmm. and Bosh, you had Kyrie and Love, but now I got a crew now, let's get it on. So in that regard, it's significant, but in the 22 matchups they've won against one another, LeBron has won 16, but that's during the regular season. In the postseason, KD has won, I think the number is like nine of the 14 playoff appearances. Do you know against head-to-head -head going up against one another overall in their careers, um, both averaging 27 and 7 on 50% shooting? So in that regard, you love it, you appreciate it, you know they're both phenomenal, they're both great, they never cheated the game, they're incredible in that regard. But when I think rivalries per se, I wish there was more. I'm not saying it doesn't matter, they don't have it, I just wish there was more to it. Right, and, and the reason that KD was clapping, clapping his hands also and saying, let's get it, yeah. is because they play the same position. Right. We're talking about two out of the three greatest small forwards to ever play the game. Yeah. Braun, KD, agree. and Larry Bird. I agree. However order you want to put it, Braun at number one, KD two, or Larry two, however you want it, whatever your preface is. You know what I'm saying? If you're yeah. drinking, what you drinking? Sweet tea. <laughs> you know, if you're drinking your, <laughs> your smoothie. Yep. I ain't bringing up yep. alcohol. But here's the thing. It just kind of reminds me a little bit of when Peyton Manning and Tom Brady had the NFL with the QB position, right. oh, yeah. you know what I'm that saying, going a little bit. Mm -hmm. No, I, I wish they could have met a little bit more right. and played against each other a little bit more. I'm talking about KD and Braun, but the fact that they both played a small forward position mm -hmm. in this game, well, I think it's been important. Here's what happened that was special last night, and this is why, again, I would get on somebody like AD. It ain't because he's great. It's because he is great. Last night, LeBron and KD is meeting for the first time in years. You saw them both answer the call. LeBron James plays every minute in the fourth quarter. They overcome a double-digit 13-point deficit. They come storming back. Now nah, we ain't going out like that. You had KD who had 30 in the first three quarters. And oh, by the way, let me add another nine in the fourth quarter. I'm not going away. It's basketball, bro. It's basketball. And so even though you look at football and you know Peyton Manning, a championship had escaped him while Tom Brady had about three and all of this other stuff before he had one. You looked at it from that perspective. You're like, damn, okay, they're going up against one another. And then finally, Indy beats New England in that AFC championship game. And they move forward and Peyton Manning ends up beating Chicago to win his first Super Bowl championship. But you're really going up against the defense. Like you said, they play in similar positions. They play mm -hmm. in the same position. They're going at one another. Obviously, KD beats LeBron James twice in the, in the yeah. NBA Finals because he's got Steph and Clay, and then they show up on national television last night, just the second game of the regular season, and they answer the call. That's basketball, baby. That's what you look for. Let's yeah. get back to the earlier discussion we had. Uh, if the Lakers have an AD problem, yeah. and just in case people are joining us, what we mean by that is essentially, could he be an impediment to them winning the championship? Without question, because he's the reason they'll win a championship. He's the reason. When we talk about the Los Angeles Lakers, okay, 
we're talking about a team that could potentially win a championship. There is only one reason that we would think that way. If AD brings his A game, period. Now, Will Bond, just so you know, KP, you know, the godfather, the legend to us all, mm -hmm. he looks at me and goes like this. Why are you surprised? This is who he is. No, I don't want to accept that. I don't want to accept that you're that up and down and you could be that up and down like you was in a postseason last year. Offensively, I'm talking about because defensively he was who he is. Okay. I'm talking about there's that standard of excellence. I hope KD, AD is listening. I hope LeBron's listening. I hope his, I hope his, his, his daddy is listening, who I had a fun time talking with in the playoffs and stuff like that. I hope everybody's listening. Anthony Davis is one of the top players on the planet when the brother brings his A game. He is that big of a difference maker. Jokic don't play defense like him. He don't do it. He doesn't do it. The offensively, Jokic is on in another world. But defensively, he don't play like Anthony Davis plays, okay? And I'm telling you right now, if Anthony Davis, this is the standard that I'm holding him to. When I'm talking, you could call it, if you were LeBron, you could call it insulting Anthony Davis. One, two. Anthony Davis should have been talking about Anthony Davis after a zero performance in the second half against a reigning defending champion that sent you home via a sweep. I'm saying if you're Anthony Davis, you're like, yo, oh, I can take this world by storm, especially, Kate, and I'm surprised you didn't bring this last point up, especially since LeBron James is in his 21st year. We know he could use the rest, but there's nothing that indicates it. Look at this brother. He's still bringing it. If you bring it, imagine if LeBron continues to be LeBron, what you can accomplish. That's all I'm saying. That's not insulting. That's not insulting. That's holding you to the obligations of your greatness. That's what I'm saying about Anthony Davis. Nothing more. Stevie. Stevie A, Stevie A? No, Stevie. 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 That's what, that's Stevie. what Mad Dog yeah. called you, and I got an opportunity to meet Mad Dog. It, so it, it was, he's something it, special, it, right? He's great. I just want to sit down with him for a whole day and watch sports. Oh that's another God. topic. <laughs> you just sat up here and lied to the American people, oh God. the millions that are watching. <sighs> Because you just said if Anthony Davis brings his A game, yes. that the Lakers have an opportunity to win the championship. Okay. And you didn't believe that yourself. Because we just left out of a block about seven minutes ago, a segment where you just we just talked about the Milwaukee Bucks and the Boston Celtics. And we just talked about them and how, you know, we would They would be the favorite. I'm just listen. You just said that they're going to win, that Anthony Davis' A game could bring them to a championship. And that's not the case. But for the simple fact, they're not getting out of the Western Conference. Mm -hmm. And you tell me if, stop me if I tell one lie. Are they, are they better than the Denver Nuggets? I don't no. think so. Are they better than the Phoenix Suns? I don't think they're, so. Okay, so they're not getting out of the Western Conference with this roster. And even when you go back and look, Stephen A., mm -hmm. Stevie, and Molly, when you go back and that look. That does actually sound better uh, for the show. Yeah. Maybe we should well, just well, 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 well. rest Mad in peace, calls me Stevie. Stevie and Molly host Stevie. Mad Dog calls me Stevie. Stevie, Mad Dog calls me Stevie. Uh, Method Man calls me Little Stevie. <laughs> Which way so, one works. So, so here, here's the thing. Yeah. Even when they won in the bubble, the Lakers, Anthony Davis wasn't going Jokic. Remember who they had? They had the White Howard and JaVale McGee. Yes. So we can't never ask him to match up with Jokic. But I'm not talking yeah. about him matching up. And by the way, you have your perspective. I have mine. Let me be clear. I don't have them being better than Phoenix. I don't have them being better than Denver. Because I don't trust that he'll bring his A game consistently. My point is, no. if he did, I might have a no. different opinion about yeah. the Lakers. And Kirk's saying, even if he did, they're not That's winning not it all no. anyway. What, I'm sorry. You I named didn't say, like four other teams, I did not right? say Kendrick Perkins. I said Stephen A. This is what I feel. Okay. If Anthony Davis well, Kirk was trying to brought tell you his wrong. A game, I'm telling you, I would. if you told me that oh. Anthony Davis's A game is what I could depend on, I got the Lakers but, but, coming out of the West. Let me, let me ask you a question. Help That's me. what I'm saying. Let me I've ask been you hearing this, this all week. Help but, me. but no, I, I just want to ask. No, seriously, yeah. I want to ask y'all this yeah. question. Yeah. I've been working at this network going on four years, mm -hmm. and I've been critical of AD. Yes, I've you been, have. I've been wanting more out of AD. Yes, you have. And Swag, who always say this, 
When a person show you who they mm, are, you them. have to believe them. We keep begging for this man to give and us. And I'm going to continue to beg. to you also. I'm not going <laughs> to apologize for begging. <laughs>